You know, it's as people who are in the vegan community and people who are in the plant-based community or whatever you want to call it, we, we see these doctors, we see these different people on YouTube or wh wh whatever space that they, they talk in. And it's one thing, but it's another thing if you've actually interviewed the person, talked to the person, had email correspondence with the person. We, we're doctors. We can shut you up. We'll stop you complaining, buddy. And had dialect with the person. We were actually scheduling another interview uh, about protein and if it's necessary or not. This actually started back in, in March uh, with Dr. John McDougal and I. And it, it just every time it got scheduled, something came up and it just kept getting pushed off. And now it's not even possible. And it's just, it's weird. Like I, I, my entire life, I have been surrounded by people passing away because I grew up in an Irish, I'm laughing, but I, I grew up in an Irish household. We, we, there's usually a huge family with Irish people. So, you know, we come in and, and we leave, just, you know, the, leave the planet. So I've been to a lot of funerals, so I'm not as great with funerals as other people. It's just kind of like a gathering. And it's just weird that I was talking to this guy, interviewed the guy, and now he's gone. And he did contribute, I think, probably most of anything to the community. But it does say something about, like, he was 77. Like, that's, it, that's not really old, right? So I, I really, I've said this in previous videos, and I maintain it. Like, I don't know how much we can change our life expectancy. I don't think we can change it at all. I think the only thing that you can change is whether or not you are suffering through your older years, right? So like if, if you're on a high meat diet or a high whatever diet and you've got a lot of diseases and you're on a lot of you know medications or, or drugs or whatever you wanna call them, are you going to have as good of a life quality as you would if you didn't have those diseases and weren't on those medications? You know, I would think the life quality would be better. I don't 100% know, I can't really prove it. But in my mind, I think that it would be better. And it would be better to high, be more highly functional while you are here. Because I don't believe that anything that you do is going to change your checkout date. I have always thought that. I will always think that. I, you know, we talk about life expectancy and you look at the Okinawans and, and all that. Maybe it's just their genetic code. I don't know, maybe they just live longer because of that. Who knows, right? Who knows? There's extenuating circumstances with everything, but this is more about McDougal. And he really did contribute a lot I know he was stubborn on certain subjects. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. He contributed a lot. It was, I'm glad that I at least got to interview him once. It was nice to email back and forth with him. He was just as short as I am in email. So it is a loss. It really is. Again, I just don't think it's anything we can change, but it does point to if there's something you want to do, you never know when your 77 year old checkout date is hitting you. You never know. I've had, I've seen my family members die from anywhere from three days old to uh, 102. And so you don't know when that checkout date comes. So if there's something you wanna do, uh, you hate your job every day, you go into it, why are you doing it? Well, you're here once, right? In this body, in this form, if you believe in reincarnation or whatever, you are only going to be in this body that you're in one time. And if you're spending every single day or five days out of the week doing something that you absolutely hate, so you can go buy stuff that you really are gonna forget in three days, might wanna recenter that. If you have an intuition of something that you're supposed to be doing, it's there for a reason, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And I think far too many people are so concerned. I mean, as I'm looking down, I've got shoes everywhere. I've got, I've gotten rid of so much stuff this like last two months. You have no idea. Just donated. I don't even want the money for it. And it just, what is it, you know, that you want to do? Are you the next John McDougal? You know, are you going to be the next John McDougal if you're at your nine to five doing garbage that you hate? Probably not. 
So really think about that. Or a relationship. Are you, is there somebody that's always on your mind, never leaves your mind, but you guys just aren't talking or something? Like maybe you should reach out to them. I don't know. But it really hits home when people like this pass away, especially after you know I've interviewed them and stuff like that. You know, it's just like really think about this stuff because you just don't know when that day is coming. And do you like think about it in reverse? Think about yourself at your funeral. And what are people saying about you? And what did you accomplish while you're here? Did you were you just a desk jockey doing some stupid job that did absolutely nothing for you, miserable all the time? Nobody knew who you were? Or did you at least go do what your intuition is telling you to go do? Because I would rather fail and not have regrets than to have regrets and have not failed at something. Anyway, that is my message behind this. It has me thinking quite a bit. And yeah, I mean, 77 years is a decent amount, but... You know, it's not it's not the oldest that you could be, right? But I don't think that you can change that anyways. But at least he did what he wanted to do while he was here. And that's all we can ever do. Anyway, that is my video today. Um, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.